Perfect. That's right. So today, that's what we're talking about, is the GFIs. And the first thing you're going to see on one of these GFI is if you turn it around, you're going to see something that says line on it, right? Line. And you're going to see something that says load on it. Well, these GFIs have to be in pairs, right? Because they come in pairs. So if electricity comes in a pair and the electricity leaving out leaves in a pair, that's the way it. this here can read the electricity flowing through it. Okay, because that's essentially what it does. It just lets electricity flow through it. <clears throat> and when electricity flows through it, now it doesn't only just flow through it. It reads what flows through it, right? So if you have 120 volts coming into this and it leaves 120 volts, then it wants to have to return the same amount of current, right? If it does not return the same amount of current, then it believes that there's a leakage somewhere down to the milliamp. So then this trips, boop, little toggle comes out, breaks the line in here. 